So hello everybody, uh, my name is Don Gooding, or as I joke to people tonight, I am Mr. Kate Gooding. Uh, I, I, both Kate and I work with entrepreneurs. Uh, Kate, as you know, has been working with the younger entrepreneurs and I run the main center for entrepreneurial development. And some of the entrepreneurs that I've been helping uh, have actually, they're, they're here tonight. So it's a pleasure to have all of you together as a community to celebrate the great accomplishments of all of these kids. So let's just start off with the first round of applause for all of these kids who have done an amazing job. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the Build the Biz program has been around in one form or, an or another for the last four years. Um, it started off uh, about four years ago when uh, Kate and I were looking at uh, a variety of entrepreneurial things to do in Maine and she came across this thing called Lemonade Day and she said, okay Don, you're on your own, I'm going to go work with the kids. <laughs> Yes, I did. It seems like it was only yesterday that I was sitting down with Yellow, Light, Green, and Stacy Haskell, and and it was actually five years ago, and here we are today. So for the first two years, uh, Kate followed the Lemonade Day national formula, and kids were building lemonade stands uh, all over uh, Maine, but she heard from the parents and the kids that they wanted to do more, and so Kate, being an entrepreneur herself, came up with this idea that we now call Build-A-Biz. So she gathered together with her board of directors and she worked with some great resources to develop some basic curriculum to help kids get that start to take the beginnings of an idea and turn it into a business. And it has been growing over these last two years and you're seeing the fruits of the results that these kids they, they really look excited when they are talking about their businesses. Because it's, it's not just any old lemonade stand, it's their idea, which is really a great thing. Uh, so, so over those years, they've participated not only in the, the local statewide business Build-A-Biz programs, but also in Global, National, and Maine Entrepreneurship Week. And one of the things we did was we actually took the program and instead of having just a physical book, we put it online so the kids and parents and coaches have access to it 24-7, either by phone or on computer. And that has been, we've been able to re reach right, you know, a lot further out into rural Maine, which is what we were looking to do. And even though all of the kids aren't able to come and join us as far as you know, we would like them to, you know, we are slowly growing that out there, which is what, you know, we want to do. And so that's, you know, that's been important for, for me too. And the things that we have added in the last two years, what we've been able to do this, and thanks mostly to Rob Baldacci is, we're, we've added the elevator pitch competition. And hey Rob, say hi, yeah, yes, yay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, and thank you to Channel 5 for filming it, and so everybody else can see it, so thank you very much, Brian. Yeah, just, just so, uh, Community Television Network is the public access network here in uh, Portland, and so for those of you who don't really understand what's going on, you're being filmed, and this is going to be aired on that public access uh, television network. So if uh, you want to see this, make sure you watch CTN 5. And in addition, next week, uh, Tuesday, the show that is featuring the winner of this year's Build a Biz competition uh, is going to start airing. So it's, it's really pretty exciting. And so that's a good segue into, I want to introduce the last year's winners who is here. Miss Olivia Danboys, can you come wave and turn around and say hi to everybody? Uh -huh. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming. You are our first winner and we are going to follow you through your progress and we cannot tell you what she is working on because she is working on a patent with attorneys down in uh, Boston and also with Hugh with the UMO 
uh, manufacturing system uh, up in Orono. So uh, you'll keep us posted. And, and so with that, I'm actually gonna, we're gonna talk about the, this year's finalists and winners. So uh, the first winner, Ryan Morrow, can you come forward? Tell us a little bit about your pat pouch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, my invention and in, my business is called the pat pouch, which is the pet aromatherapy pouch. And this pouch is like a, it's a tea bag that you use in a tart warmer. And um, when you when you put this tea, the tart warmer in the place where your dogs will be staying while you're gone, and with this product, you can you can prevent your dogs from separation anxiety. It's a mental disease that a lot of dogs in America have, and by using my product, you can you can prevent them from getting this mental disease. And I didn't know dogs have anxiety, so we have two anxiety winners today. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. And coincidentally, second place was OMG anxiety. <laughs> and where, where, where is she, Maya? <laughs> so, you want to come over here and talk a little bit about yours? Well, um, mine is to help kids with anxiety and self conscious problems and OCD. And it's um, mainly for um, littler kids who don't enjoy therapy as much as older kids um, um, do. And um, it is built with um, strategies filtered through games so that little kids understand it more and it's, you know, more fun so um, it really sticks with them when they play it. And I've gone on a lot of other websites that um, are supposed to do this and um, most of them were created by adults, so not all of them were very kid friendly. And um, so this one is by kids who have anxiety and those problems, so they know what it's like and are going to fix that. And how old are you? I'm 10 years old. And you're <laughs> writing this program? Yes, I am. <gasps> And just as an illustration of the small community of Maine, her dad, Dan Koloski, is actually a mentor in the Top Gun Entrepreneurship Program that I run. So it, 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 all, it all kind of flows together. Unbelievable. <laughs> and then our other two finalists that pitched, I mean, the judges had a really hard time. Speaking of judges, where is Jennifer? There she is. So the Small Business Development Center give up their time each year to go through the plethora of uh, applications. And I mean, I go through them first, make sure they're complete so they don't get hundreds of them. Uh, and then what we have decided is that the video, they are able to understand the kids a lot more so for the competition next year they they have to have videos for the Bangor uh, elevator pitch competition so be aware kids that's what it's going to be for next year <laughs> so so thank you for yes I'm I guess I'm giving you your job for next year right? <laughs> uh, so next okay Haley our, our third finalist your company and how old you are? Uh, my company is called Gold Elephant and the product that I sell is the Lip Savvy Set. This set is a three-step system. The system is a lip scrub, a lip balm, and a lip balm. And the lip balm is a lip balm with some protection. And each of these products can be replaced once you have run out and all the set comes in a little pouch. All 
right? Cool. And I tried, tried some, and don't my lips look luscious? <laughs> and we have a couple mentors here that are talking with Haley today, too. So we're trying so hard to help these kids further along with their ideas. So if anybody else has any ideas, let's help them along. And so our fourth finalist, there she is, Caitlin Rayner. Can you want to come up here? Okay. Each of these four kids are actually tapping into some things that we all need. <laughs> Hello. Um, <whoa. laughs> My business is called Errands for the Elderly, and it's a business completely run by teenagers. We provide services to the older community at very affordable prices, and I think it's not just about the services, it's more about bridging the generation gap and creating bonds, I think that matters a lot as well, so, yeah. That's great. <laughs> and hopefully by elderly, she doesn't mean me. <laughs> Some days I feel more elderly than others. So at this, uh, at this point, actually I'm going to switch, um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of the partner organizations that have helped make this happen. Although Kate does an amazing amount of work, she really relies on a lot of partner organizations to reach out to kids and help really make the education happen. So we want to recognize a few of them. Uh, Karen Seymour, I don't know whether she's here tonight, but she was instrumental at the Portland Rec Department in bringing Bill to Biz to the kids there. Uh, Kristen Marsh, who's the program director of the Portland Boys and Girls Club, she's been involved for the last two years and really does an amazing job. Is she, is she here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, Cindy Ripley and uh, Melissa Cormier of Waterville Boys and Girls Club, they, they got into the program this year and they really went full steam ahead and did a lot with the, the kids. I don't know whether they yeah, made it here. Yeah, yeah, there here. they are. Yay! So thank you so much. Um, another important partner, uh, Town Square Media. Uh, Mike Marcello, where are you here? Right here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So um, they have radio stations all across Maine, and because they kind of took uh, Molly and Emma under their wing and put them on the radio, Build the Biz, as a result, got volunteers, reg re uh, rec recognition, and or grammar lessons and, and registration. It was really great, so thank you for all of your help there. Uh, the heart of Bitterford, uh, Delilah Pupori uh, will be here later. She actually went out and she was so inspired by the program, she visited three different schools, she gave four different classes in the Bitterford, Saco, Arundel area, and really helped uh, get kids inspired there. Um, we did mention uh, Rob Baldacci, uh, The Pitch Me Show, and uh, Jennifer Sherwood at Maine Small Business Development Centers, who really have been, they've been uh, contributing as judges for all four years. The Maine Mall has also been a major partner by allowing registration events uh, at the Maine Mall, um, so they've been really instrumental in getting the word out. Uh, and then finally, also important, I think they, they had to go off and work, but they, the students at USM's SIF and then now Enactus program, which is a really active student service entrepreneurship program there. Uh, they've developed videos for the curriculum. And they developed this year a really cool entrepreneur game. Do we have that on display? It is. Yeah. In the back right it's in the back. Corner. So if you, you know, want to play entrepreneur, that's a game that they've actually developed as, as part of uh, the overall program. So that's really kind of fun. Also want to take this opportunity uh, as a nonprofit, there's a board of directors that has contributed a lot. Uh, Steve Wallace, uh, who's the chair, he's done a great job leading the charge, and he'll be doing that as uh, the organization uh, cars out in the future, according to what uh, the parents and the kids are asking for. 
uh, Stacy Haskell of Bangor Savings Bank. She's not here tonight, but she's the vice chair and absolutely a huge supporter in getting the funding to support these important programs over the last four years. Uh, also, huge thanks to Lisa Panette. Lisa, I see you way in the back there. Um, when she joined the board, uh, she, she told Kate, Kate uh, and Lisa go back a long ways back to Jackman, and uh, she said, well, I don't know how to support a, a nonprofit board of directors, but she's been a huge hit. Hit, uh, help, excuse me. Uh, Kevin Brunel, treasurer, are you here, Kevin? Yes, thank you. Uh, Michelle Newyar, who is at Southern Maine Community College, uh, the entrepreneur guru there. Uh, Kyle Kirby, a lawyer at Pierce Atwood, and an entrepreneur enthusiast. Is Kyle here? Yes. Thank you, Kyle. Tom Leonard, uh, Chinbo pro project manager and a longtime friend of Kate. Yeah, Tom's in the back there. Angie Helton, who owns her own media company, Northeast Media. She's really great at it. Angie, yes. Despite being uh, having that big boot on her. <laughs> and then also, just want to give special re recognition uh, to Jill Barkley. I know she had to get ready to run off, but I don't know that she's still here. But she was executive director uh, for about eight months during the past year. Um, and finally, it's also important to recognize sponsors. Uh, nonprofits depend on sponsor, uh, sponsors to uh, get their funding, because uh, unfortunately there is no state funding for uh, kid entrepreneurship. Um, there are, I think, something like 25 different sponsors. A whole bunch uh, gave in-kind and, and cash. I, I'm only going to uh, have time to read the names of a few. So, Maine Technology Institute, Pierce Atwood, Baldacian Business, ProSearch, Maine and Company, Town Square Media Portland, GWI, Oxford Networks, and finally, saving the most important for last, Bangor Savings Bank. Uh, I, I can't emphasize how important that their support has been uh, to help. Kate, keep going um, with you know doing a startup when it's a regular business is hard. Doing a nonprofit startup is amazingly hard, and, and Bangor Savings Bank support has really been critical for that. So thank you, sponsors and partners. So one of the things that we like to recognize kids now are for their kidpreneur stories. And Maine and Company has been working with me for a few years in support of that. And we didn't let this out this year because I wanted it to be a surprise. So the kidpreneurs were here and they don't know it. So first place kidpreneur story this year. They, they're unique, they touch your soul, they have passion. And the two top winners this year, first place goes to Caitlin Rayner. North End Nibbles. So we have a, a special, a couple of special awards here. What are we going to call this? We're gonna, we're gonna, what are we going to call this? We're going to call this new uh, Maine's Radio New Voice Award to Molly and Emma Carlton. <laughs> Here you go, Molly. Here you go. 
They can go in the morning out of the Q morning show tomorrow morning. Anybody hear the radio <laughs> show of the radio commercial that they did? It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, great job. Yeah. Great job. And Molly, come here. And Molly gets another prize for the best lemonade stand. She has been doing it for four years, and every year she adds on something new. And two years ago, when it was pouring, she added on a drive through where her dad stood out there with an umbrella. They ordered and they brought it to the car. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and there's one more surprise. Oh, there is. There is. So. Oh, well, I, I still have a couple more. Oh, you do have a couple more. Okay, well, why don't you do those? <laughs> okay, I have a couple more. They're not on this list. <laughs> okay. Where's Tree? <laughs> I'm over here, I'm over here. <laughs> this is for trees. It's really cool, but it's I think it's super cool car washing. He's raising money. He raised more than enough money to adopt a seal. Aww. And this is actually for Melissa and Cindy. <laughs> because you girls did such a, an amazing job jumping into oh. this this year. So I get up there to meet them and I'm looking in the backyard and they're doing all this like shuffling back and forth. He made this huge banner. Welcome Kate, build a biz. <laughs> it was, it was awesome. <laughs> All right. All right. So where are those black hole brownie kids? Yum. Come here, Samantha. Oh, I don't want to get it. <laughs> Just because I know you like to give me a hug. <laughs> Inventing Kate's Trailblazer. Where are those PBJs? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, honey. You're welcome. Great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Good hug. <laughs> and Emma. You're just gonna go home with lots of stuff today, aren't you? Kate loves gifts. <laughs> um, and the last one that's not on the list is yeah, this person just it just brings tears to my eyes. She always just go, goes above and beyond and I just I, I you know it's not I can't do enough for her. So would you come up here, Lisa Panette? I, I could not get through this without <laughs> We have a lot of mental nervous support. <laughs> these things get done with a huge team of people, but there's always somebody at the head who maybe doesn't get enough thanks. And so as uh, Mr. Kate today, I wanted to make sure that opportunity was not missed. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I can do this without breaking up here, but um, uh, Many of you may not know that over the four years that Kate's been doing this, um, she's 
Uh, she's shown a great deal of the entrepreneurial grit that it takes to be uh, successful. Grit is that character that when things get tough, you keep going to help make things happen. And she's had three back operations, a knee replacement, and she's been uh, suffering from daily extreme migraines for the last five months. And yet, she's kept on making this program the success it is today. So I just wanted to give an opportunity for all the kids and who all the other people who have been part of enough, to, uh, part of this great program to say thank you to Kate. So, big round of applause. I couldn't have done it without all of you and all I and all I can say is we're gonna be bigger next year right spread the word <laughs> all right